Hey everyone, it's Jamie here from Ecom Masterclass and in this video I'll be going over the best way to turn off lazy loading for your images. Specifically, we'll go over the example of your homepage banner image. This one's probably going to be quite large here, so we'll turn off lazy loading there. Now, lazy loading is something that's generally recommended by different speed testing sites such as GT Metrics. It's an optimization technique for online content. So instead of loading the entire web page and running it to a user in one go as bulk loading, the concept of lazy loading assists in loading only the required section and delays the remaining. However, turning this off might help speed up your store and speed is extremely important. Before we dive into the exact steps, I want to thank our sponsor ProfitCalc, the one-click profit calculator available on the Shopify app store. I skip your to growing your business as it's going to give you real-time calculations on how profitable your store actually is. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get up-to-date calculations to understand your store's true profitability as well as a variety of other detailed metrics. There's a link in the description to access a 15-day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself. I'm also going to show a quick promo video. Are you a Shopify business owner who spends hours doing your accounting? Have messy spreadsheets kept you from growing your business? Discover Profit Calc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit, displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify App Store today. So now let's dive into the step. Right now I'm in the homepage dashboard of a Shopify store. The way we're gonna turn off lazy loading is we'll go and edit the code. So on the left hand side menu, you want to go down to online store. So you're going to click on that. It's going to load a variety of options. By default, it should load themes here. And this is the page we're looking for. One thing I always recommend, if you're going to edit any code, you want to make sure you're duplicating a copy of your current theme. You can do so by going over these three dots here, clicking on that, and then going down to duplicate. This way, if you make any mistakes along the way, or you're not sure what you edited, you can always go back to an older version that you know is working properly. So to edit the themes here, what we're going to do is head to the three dots, go down to edit code. So this is going to open up a code editor for your Shopify store. Now it's going to be a little intimidating here. There are tons of files here. And if we open any of them up, you can see there's quite a bit of information here. So this is the overall theme.liquid. We don't need to focus on this one here. What we want to pay attention to is the homepage banner. So from the left top hand side here, we're going to click into search files. Then you're going to search for just image here. And this is going to show up a section. And under section, there's going to be a image dash banner dot liquid. And so this is the file we're looking for. Now, additionally, you can follow these same steps with the image dash with text.liquid depending on what your store is using on its homepage banner. So once you open up this image dot or dash banner dot liquid file here, you're going to want to search for a particular tech. Now, if you're on a Mac, it's going to be control F or if you're on Windows, it's going to be control F. Sorry, Mac is going to be command F there. So you're going to hit that and it's going to open up this find app at the bottom here. And you're going to want to search for the text lazy. So once you enter that in, hit next, it's going to be this green button. You can also just press enter and it's going to find the section on the page automatically. And here we'll see a loading semicolon lazy. And so what you want to do to remove this, it's an option here for this image that's loading. You just want to remove this line. I'm going to select all of it, hit backspace, hit backspace again to remove that line. And then I'm going to go up to the top right and hit save. And so that's going to remove the lazy loading here. If I preview my store, you can see everything is still loading. Okay. If you want to do the same thing for the image dash with tech again, search for lazy it's going to show up here under loading and again you just want to remove the line here and removing the extra line it's not going to make a difference in the calculation but it's going to look a little nicer hit save there as well again if i go to preview store everything's going to be loading okay so just like that you remove lazy loading for your home page image here once i'm done i'll just hit exit in the top left and this will bring me back to my Shopify dashboard. Overall, a pretty simplified process, but it does involve getting into the code a little bit and removing a few lines. So this is going to conclude the video here on how to turn off lazy loading for your images. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below, as that really helps the channel out. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.